This video is to help you understand the dashboard within Schoology. After logging in, you're going to notice that you come to the main dashboard. It'll default to your course dashboard to where you can see all of your courses in one spot. Here's the, where you can drag and drop your courses in order to put them in an order that's easy for you to find. At the top, you'll see three buttons. You'll see courses, groups, and resources. These are the three main things that you will use in Schoology. Your courses, obviously, when you click on that, will come up to all of your courses, the tiles. If there's courses here that you do not see, you go ahead and click on My Courses on the right-hand side. You'll see all the courses in which you're enrolled in. The second button at the top is Groups. Within Groups, you can see groups that you'll be enrolled in. Um, a lot of times, these are for clubs or after-school activities. This will be a great way. It has all the functions of, of your classroom, except there's no grading associated with the clubs. And lastly is your resources. Your resources are like your filing cabinet within Schoology. Um, you can save stuff to resources, which you'd see you could have folders here. Um, probably the most important thing within resources is the apps button on the left-hand side. From the apps button, you can access your Google Drive resource app. So if there's times in different courses in which you need to submit stuff or insert stuff from your Google Drive, feel free to open this Google Drive resource app. You can search for any topic that you might want. Once you find what you're looking for, all you'll do, you'll click next to it, hit the import button, and then you can, you can import a link into any submission for assignments within the course. Also along the top, you'll see the magnifying glass which allows you to search for items within Schoology. Um, the four boxes is the App Center. Um, so if there's specific apps like the uh, Google Drive resource app, um, would be you'd find it within the App Center. Your calendar, which we talked about in a separate video, um, your calendar can be accessed quickly at the top. And same with your messages. Your messages can be accessed at the top quickly as well. The bell stands for the notifications, so if you've got communications from teachers, maybe they've returned an assignment to you or you have a new grade submitted, um, you can click on the notification bell. And lastly is your username and account. So if you want to go set up your profile, maybe change your profile picture, just click on your name, go to your profile, and then you can add and edit anything that you'd like here. Hopefully this gives you an idea of some of the things that you would interact with on your dashboard within Schoology.